Both of these guys did. Let's us know that they at least have taken something from the professionals. They <laughs> both have a hell of a ring walk style. They definitely have the ring walk down. <laughs> you never think it was their professional debut. Head, one got no like all professionals. So let's fight like it. Push them up. Devin, you're known for some pretty interesting outfits when you're making your ring walk. So yeah, he uh, he seemed to beat me to the Louis Vuitton. <laughs> Did Gucci, but I was on my way to Louis Vuitton, but he beat me to it. I gotta do something like Fendi or something next. Jake Paul has seemed very confident in his ability to knock out an Eason Gibb. Gibb, in his amateur fights we have seen, has an incredibly unorthodox style, obviously. Not trained as a professional boxer. And you could see immediately just diving in to Paul. He's putting yeah, the pressure on for him. The first second, I knew he would. That's the way to do it. Go out there and let him know that you're here to fight and you're not afraid. He seems like he has some head movement with it as well. Crouching in a very unorthodox fashion. Looks like that was an early head, but not much the head. Jake Paul training at Big Bear, isolated with Shane Mosley. Feeling like his brother Logan in L.A. was a bit distracted in his training for KSI. Good job from Jack. That's what he needs to do. If he, if he wants to take control of the fight, he needs to start with the jab. As in any fight, but especially with state viewers, whoever lands the first clean, hard shot, that's the guy that tends to take control of the fight early. Yes, you got to earn respect. You have to earn that respect. Kim nearly losing his footing there. You, I mean, you can just see how incredibly unique the style is from Gibb crouching wildly oh. and that is going to be a knockdown it was a flash knockdown but he looks kind of hurt to me you don't want to go rushing in there without throwing punches being in his face isn't enough you got to be active we'll see if Paul can end this quickly remember this is about revenge for Jake Paul I like how he went back to the jab even after he had him hurt he wants a shot at KSI, he only gets it if he takes care of Gibb. That's another knockdown. Anise and Gibb having all kinds of trouble staying on his feet. Gibb he needs to move his head on his way in. Devin, how does Paul finish him here? Go back to the jab, stay relaxed, don't try to rush it. It was a good jab. He needs to stay on the jab. He's hurting him with just a jab. Yeah, he really is. That jab is backing up. But he's in gear. Once you, once you start landing, finding a home with the jab, the combination will follow right after. Jake is staying very calm. He knows exactly what he wants to do in there. He's working behind the jab. Oh, big right hand that lands. He's hurt. And his brother Logan celebrates an emphatic first round knockout victory as KSI looks on concerned knowing that he very well may be next. And that's exactly what Jake Paul is calling for, shouting to KSI in the crowd. Jake Paul said he had the boxing bug. Well, man, that's the bug. He's got the flu now. He'll, <laughs> he'll never cure the bug after this. I'm most impressed with how he used his jab. Even when he had him hurt, he went back to the jab, and that's very important. Just totally outclassing Anis and Gibb in that first round, Devin. Yes, yes, he definitely did. It's an interesting point you bring up, though, because especially with somebody who doesn't have the experience, you can see them get outside themselves when they smell blood. But Jake was able to stay very much within his game plan with that jab. Yes. I'm actually impressed. I mean, I didn't expect that. He went in there, used his jab, he used some combinations, and when he got him hurt, he didn't just go for the kill. How distracting can it be for a fighter when you're going up against someone whose style was as wild as Gibbs was? Yes, that's what I was really wanting to see, how he was going to deal with the pressure, how he was going to deal with somebody coming at him so unorthodox as Gibb, and he handled it well.
tell me that you love me 